Good morning. It is Wednesday, so two more days till Friday. We still got some dodgeball tournaments to announce, and some birthdays too, and a lot more after the pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The Sounds of Spring concert will be tonight in the theater at 7. Tickets are $5, so come on out and support our music students. For lunch today, it's Lions 1 and 2 is pull apart pizza, and 3 and 4 is pizza rolls. This morning, the Dodgers and the Benchwarmers were in a heated match. However, after a difficult game, Benchwarmers lost to the Dodgers, and the Dodgers will be moving on. Right after, Taylor's Tots were against 2 to 1 odds. 2 to 1 odds prevailed and came out on top, and will be moving on as well. Good luck, and tomorrow, they will be head to head for title of champion. Good luck and may the best team win. Now to sports and weather. Good morning, dogs. Last night, the baseball team traveled to Crawfordsville for game two. The dogs fell to the Athenians 3 0. This puts the baseball team 9 4 in the conference and 14 8 overall. The dogs are back in action this Friday, traveling to Danville to face the Warriors. Game starts at 6. Also, last night, the softball team traveled to Crawfordsville. The Lady Dogs defeated the Crawfordsville Athenians 16 0. Good job to them. The girls are back in action tonight, traveling to Hamilton Heights to face the Huskies. Game starts at 5 30. Last night, the girls' track team traveled to Harrison to compete in sectionals. The girls' team finished 11th place. Point scorers were Alexis Rigo, 8th in the 300 hurdles. Peyton Debris, 8th in the pool vault. Vanessa Guajardo, 8th in the shot put. And Karina Lee, 7th in the 3200. Good job to the girls. The boys' track team tra competes in sectionals tomorrow night at Harrison. The final start at 7. The girls' tennis team are in action tonight for sectionals, traveling to Western Boone. Matches begin at 5. Good luck to them. I was out for sports, not at Eli. Good morning, dogs. It was a nice 55 degrees. It's supposed to stay cloudy all day. It's supposed to rain around 3 and around 5. The high will once hit the rains in, and it'll be 70 degrees, so it should feel nice after the little showers. Tomorrow, I expect sunny skies with it being mid-80s. That's it for weather. Back to your weird hosts. A happy birthday goes out to Anthony Greeno and Mackenzie Cineros. Happy birthday, peeps. Bridging the Gap is a medical interpre interpreting certification course which normally costs $750. They will be offering scholarships to FHS 2022 graduates to take the course for free. The course will be from May 30, June 3 from 9 to 4.30 p.m. Applications are due on next Wednesday, May 25th. Remember that the Hispanic Heritage Festival T-Shirt Design Contest will, be, will announce the winners on next Tuesday, May 24th. If you attempt to submit your, any designs, you may be far too late as the deadline was due the 13th. Good luck to the potential winners. That is all for the announcements. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that bell notification for more. Have a good day.